sometimes you might find yourself in a scenario where you want to be sending certain traffic through a VPN. And in this instance, it's very easy and simple to set up with UFI. So let's take a look at how we do it. You simply just go to your VPN configuration and then you click on the clients because you're not setting up a server. This is for outbound traffic. You create a VPN client and you have two different options when you select this. You can choose WireGuard or you can choose OpenVPN. Now for me, I'm using private internet access. And if I go to my control panel, you can see on the left hand side, we have downloads and it gives me a whole bunch of downloads that I can use for various different operating systems. What I can do from there is scroll down to the bottom and then we have the open VPN configurator. You go to it, you select what version you want to use, what platform. For me, I'm just leaving this as the default and then what region you want to select for this to go out of. So if you want to go to North America, South America, Europe, or if you want to stick within the UK, like for where I am, I can then choose Europe. Scroll down to the bottom. I want the UK streaming option. And then we can choose the specific port that we need along here. So for now, I'll just choose UDP 1198 and then generate. And then that downloads a file for us to use. Simply go into the VPN configurator, go to WireGuard or OpenVPN. We're using OpenVPN at this point. And then we can, I can just call this PIA and we can upload the file. The file looks a little something like this. And this then pops into here and we can see that's then done and set up so the VPN file is there you have to pop in your username and password that you would use to log into the VPN with otherwise it's not going to work for you we then have two different options we can play around with we have device wizard and that basically says you want to select the source of the traffic being routed through the network you can choose either a device so choose a specific device itself or you can choose a whole entire network or even multiple networks it's entirely up to you for now i'm going to leave this blank because we're going to set up a new network for this so we'll leave this blank right here so we'll leave that off now if you wanted you could actually instead of the internal network you could then choose a specific destination so if you needed to hit a specific ip or when you browse to a specific website you can go through this content wizard and choose that so you can then type in a domain name so for example you could choose google.co.uk and anytime you use google.co.uk it then routes through this vpn you can choose it a specific ip if you want range so if you are going for example through an mpls and you want to be able to route a specific ip address through that mpls network you can do this again you can choose all of these how you wish to set them up we type in the username and password so we can type in the username and then you type in the password too you can click apply and we'll go off and apply that is then going off and connecting so it's trying to get connected to it and once it's connected, it's saying, do you want to add a policy-based route? So policy-based routes are required to send IPv4 traffic from a device or network through the VPN connection. So we can click proceed there and it takes us to the policy-based routes. That's in policy engine, policy-based routes, and then we can create entry. So I'm going to say route through VPN, and then we can select the interface or tunnel. So we're going to be sending out through your private internet access there's a kill switch which basically says if this vpn dies no longer connect to the internet or don't send the traffic through the network that is currently on and then you can select the source so we can say any device or network but now i'm going to throw this on my zone network test and then we can click save and we can see that's now appeared here and then the destination will be basically anything so if i wanted this to be for example only google going out i could go and type in google.co.uk and it would be everything would go through my normal internet connection however when i go to google.co.uk it would then route through the vpn so you have a few different options but for now i'm just going to do anything and i'm going to click add and it's that simple to create a policy-based route that goes through your vpn so if I do a IP config on my current network, I'm on 10.1.1.20, which is actually currently my management network just up here, 10.1.1.20. And if I do a what's my IP address, it's got my IP address up here, starting with 141. So I found my desktop, which is plugged into my XG10 PoE, and I'm going to change this to the zone network test and I can click apply. And we'll give that a few minutes and let that go off and update the VLAN. So looking back at the zone based test, I should get a 192.168.2. something address. So let's go back to the command prompt and let's do a renew. And that's going to go off and grab a new IP address. And if I now do an IP config, 
we can see we have a 192.168.2 address. So we're now on the right network. And if I just refresh what's my IP address page, you can see now my IP address starts with a 138. And it's really that easy and simple to get this VPN set up and get it routed through. So once you decide on which VPN vendor you're going to use, and maybe that's another topic for another video. So if you want to see on which one's probably best to use, let me know down in the comments. But creating a simple traffic that is routed through a VPN is really easy and simple. I hope you found this video useful. For now, this is Inside Wire, and I'll see you in the next one.